Hi guys, well today we're going to be taking a look at the MSI G72 2QD Apache. This new notebook sits within MSI's gaming product line and is destined to be a mid-range unit. So it comes with a whole host of gaming related features and some top class components. Now last week Nvidia launched their new GTX 960M and as is typical of MSI they used the announcement of this new GPU to unveil some of their mobile gaming products such as this one behind me. GE72 uses super sleek styling to exhibit an eye-catching design and highly respected partners such as Dyn Audio and Steel Series have joined forces to bring the best possible user experience. Now the cost is always an important factor so our GE72 arrives in the UK for a thousand pounds over in the States it's $1400 uh, but do bear in mind that the configurations may differ slightly and obviously the price is too. So hopefully that's whet your appetite so let's crack on and begin our video today. Right guys, well to begin with, we're gonna take a look at the packaging and the bundle. So as you can see from the packaging, it's very familiar to us. Uh, we've seen this time and time again, uh, the actual design. So it very rarely changes between each MSI model. Of course, in the center there, we have the gaming logo, because this is a, a gaming notebook. And then we have the respective technologies and partners which are involved. And then over on the other side, it's very much the same. It's identical. So that is pretty much it for the packaging. Of course I have this uh, carry handle at the top here, which can be useful if you don't have a satchel and you're taking this notebook to a LAN party. So that can come in handy. Just open her up. Inside we have the notebook here inside a fabric sleeve. That's well protected. And then inside here we have the documentation. Now with this particular model, and perhaps even for the foreseeable uh, models which are going to come up from MSI, we don't get a driver CD, so if you're wanting to get the drivers, the utilities, then you'll need to get those off the website. So here we've got the quick start guide, we've got the warranty service book, we've got the warranty uh, sign up, we've got the recovery function, and then the opportunity to get this laptop for free if you uh, just fill out a questionnaire. And then last of all, inside here, we have the charging unit. So this is actually quite slim, lightweight. It's uh, 120 watt, and that is going to work in conjunction with the power cord. And of course, with us being in the UK, we've got the UK edition here. And obviously, if you're in the US or Europe, then you'll get your respective country. So here we have our notebook, the G72. And the design and the styling of this notebook isn't unfamiliar. You'll have seen a similar theme before from previous MSI models. And MSI has given G72 a wonderfully crafted lid here, which has been engineered to use brushed aluminium. Now, as you can see there, we have these accents which have been carved out to really give the notebook some definition. In the center there, we have the MSI gaming logo, which when the system is powered up, when the notebook's powered on, it will give a nice warm red and white glow. Flipping the notebook over onto its reverse, we see there that there are a number of areas marked down which allow the internal components some ventilation. We also have four rubber feet to prevent the unit from slipping on smooth surfaces. Now the underside of GE72 also features a subwoofer and we have some front facing speakers. The audio on this notebook is supplied by Dyn Audio and offers up to 4.1 surround. And while we can't demonstrate how good this is on the video, how good the audio quality is, you can take our word for it when we say it's extremely impressive. And while we have the notebook on this particular side, it'd be a good idea for us to remove that back cover to take a closer look at the internal components. Now you'll have noticed that there is no detachable battery with GE72 and that's because the unit is fixed into the notebook. So if you do happen to need a replacement, then you'll need to send the entire notebook directly back to MSI. Now the G72 uses a six cell unit, which provides us with up to around four hours of light usage. At the very heart of our notebook is Intel's Core i7-4720HQ. This uh, processor is relatively new to the market, having arrived at the start of the year, and is quad core and is based on Haswell architecture. This chip sits at a base speed of 2.6 gigahertz, and then it turbo boosts up to 3.6. 
Our notebook has two DDR3 slots, allowing up to 16 gig of memory. MSI has actually supplied G72 with eight gig of Hynix 1600 megahertz DDR3, which should be sufficient for most enthusiasts and gamers. Now, one of the major features with our G72 is of course, the inclusion of Nvidia's new GTX 960M. So this GPU offers us two gig of GDDR5 and is capable of handling the latest gaming titles at high detail and decent frame rates, as you're gonna see when I demonstrate this a little later. For storage needs, for the primary drive, so that's the operating system, there is a 128 gig Kingston M.2 SSD, and there is the option there to add in another two drives and to make use of Super Raid 2 or 3. And then for the secondary drive, for the main storage, there is a HGST Travelstar 7K1000, which is a one terabyte mechanical drive, and that operates at 7200 RPM, and it uses the six gig interface. So continuing on there, we have running down the sides, a surprising amount of functionality. So on the left hand side there, we have the Kensington lock support. We have Ethernet gigabit LAN port, which works in conjunction with Killer E2200. We have one USB 3 port, HDMI port, mini display port, so that we can output to bigger multiple displays. We have a further two USB 3 ports, and then the gold plated headphone and microphone jacks. Over on the other side, there is a Blu-ray drive, a single USB 2 port, an SD card reader that supports both SC and XC cards, and the AC power port, which of course works in conjunction with the supplied charging power pack. So opening that lid, we have a large 17.3 inch screen, which is FHD and which offers anti-glare, and it supports a maximum resolution of 1920 by 1080. This screen is nice and vibrant, and is crystal clear. And then at the top there, we have a 1080p webcam, which is handy really if you're on the go, you need to jump on Skype for a conference call using either the video or just the mic. As we'd expect from MSI, the keyboard is in partnership with well-established partners, SteelSeries. So this keyboard is LED backlit. It works in combination with the SteelSeries engine for advanced customization. So you can pretty much modify the colors and apply commands and macros as you please. And what I really like about this entire area is that the brushed aluminium effect has continued and it's one piece. The region looks stunning and it flows really well. Now the design of the touchpads on these MSI notebooks have often in the past been criticized by ourselves, but we're happy to say that with the new G72, there is a definite improvement over previous versions. The touchpad area here uses a granular surface texture with two corresponding left and right buttons. Right guys, well I'm now gonna show you what kind of performance you can expect from G72. And we're gonna start with a Windows 8.1 boot up. So if I just hit the power button. So that was from a fresh boot and as you can see, under 10 seconds there, that SSD really comes in handy. Now there is a useful button just above the keyboard on this notebook and it allows you to have both fans inside the notebook running at 100% so that's maximum performance and obviously this is going to emit a bit more noise so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my microphone off and just place it near those fans and just give you a bit of a demonstration as to what it's like with it off and then when we switch it on obviously uh, the noise difference. Okay, lastly then guys, I'm gonna show what the gaming performance is like with this new GTX 960M. So we've got the charging unit already plugged in. That is really important because we don't want any power saving restrictions occurring. Without that power unit plugged in, we would get frame rate drops and we don't wanna have that. Uh, we've got uh, FIFA and Tomb Raider, which we're gonna be showing because those have got built-in benchmarks. If we wanna know what uh, Assassin's Creed Unity 
Battlefield 4 or Far Cry 4 was like, we'd have to use fraps and that would be quite awkward to use for the video. But if you do want to know what those gaming titles are like, please head over to the link in the description for the full review because we cover a wide selection of different games over there. Now for the temperatures, we're going to be using MSI Afterburner. We have used GPU-Z in the past, but we had some difficulties getting the temperatures to display for this new card. Perhaps it needs a new update. So, we're going to kick things off then with FIF. Now for the detail level, we've selected uh, obviously 1080p, turn VSync off, we don't want any frame rate cap. And then we're using the preset which is high. So that is all good if we go into the game. Okay, there we have the result that is for the average 33.9. Not too bad, really, when you consider this is a mid range GPU and we've got the uh, 1080p set and high detail. So, if just come out of this game now, I'm just going to show you the temperatures. So, there you go, we've got uh, a maximum temperature there of 66. Again, nothing to be concerned with there, but if we did, we could obviously boost those fans up to 100%. Okay, next up we've got Tomb Raider. If we just go into the options again, uh, we have 1080p set. Uh, we've got the high detail preset for the quality. And then if we just go in. And the result there for Tomb Raider, as you can see, average frame rate, 70.5. Again, 1080p, high detail, that is quite an impressive result. We just come out and have a look at the temperatures. 64 for the maximum there on the, uh, on the degrees centigrade. So again, nothing really to be concerned with, uh, that is actually quite... Uh, quite moderate for a temperature on a GPU. So that is the new mid-range G72. So by now, if you're a regular reader or subscriber of ours, you'll see quite a few MSI notebooks. Uh, you know, the overall design generally remains quite consistent throughout uh, the lineup of notebooks that MSI offer. And this is great, you know, when you think about it because uh, the build quality, the visual appearance is always spot on and it leaves you with no concerns at all. Now, not all brands update their notebooks as often as MSI, uh, but it's clear that from this kind of strategy um, that they're really serious about bringing users the cutting edge technology. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope you found it useful. If you're thinking about buying this particular model, uh, you've got any questions or comments, then please feel free to drop them in the box below. And uh, thanks very much for taking the time out to watch today, and I'll see you guys in the next video.